This week, it's true wizardry to look into their eyes and reveal what they're thinking. This episode of Scam School is the science project gone awry from GoDaddy and Squarespace. Welcome to the only show that's cooler than your uncle with the 76 Camaro. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and if you want to blow someone away one-on-one, -on -one, no confederates, no cheating, no secret hidden assistance, then you can look right into their eyes and reveal their innermost thought with a simple game called Heads Tales. How's it going? I'm Brian. Jackie. Jackie, it is good, good to meet you. you. All right, Jackie. I don't know. But one of the things about doing scam school is you get pretty good at reading people, right? Okay. okay. And I, I don't like to, to claim I have psychic powers because that's not true. Okay. But I do have, I'm very, very perceptive. So what I did is I grabbed just some change out of my pocket, just some random quarters, some nickels, dimes, some pennies, nothing tricky about it. You can take my word for it. Okay. I'm going to turn around here, all right? And I want you to reach forward and turn over any one of those coins you want. Don't tell me which one. You may suspect I'm actually listening for what kind of coin it is. If it is, that would be pretty awesome too. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'll claim to do, is that I'm actually listening okay. for which coin you're turning over. Okay. All right, do me a favor, turn over another one. Oh. Well then. Any one you want. You got right. it? Done. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Uh, tell me, just for grins, one more. And you know what? When I say when I say turn over one more, it could be a different one, it could be one you've already turned over. Oh. Any of them are free. Now here's here's where things get tricky. You want to stop or you want to turn over one more, Jackie? Um, I think I'm good. Okay, all right. Now, now I want you to pick any one of those coins. Yes. Slide it towards yourself. Okay. I want you to pay attention to whether it's heads or tails. Okay. And then cover it up. Okay. All right. Now, don't let me see. Don't let me see. I'm going to turn around now. All right. All right, you got it? Yes. All right, now. Right from the beginning, you made it very clear that there's nothing tricky about any of these coins. Right. Now that's that's honestly, now I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not above using tricky coins, but I am gonna say that this is not one of them, right? Okay. Now here's the thing, literally, the only the only person who knows whether that coin is heads up or heads down is you. Um, I do know. You know, you're right, but you are the <laughs> yeah. only one, yeah. right? I don't have any accomplices, it's right, just right, you right, and me, right, all right? right? All right, I want you to look me in the eye, look me in the eye. I want you to say both words, say heads, tails. Heads, tails. Say it again. Heads, tails. One more time. Heads, tails. I don't know if you know this, but you leaned forward when you said heads. I'm going to say it's a head. Uh-oh. Is it? Ta-da! What? That's right. <laughs> and it works 100% of the time. It never, ever goes wrong. All you have to do is pay attention to one very simple thing I could teach you in absolutely no time. You're going to love this. Do you want to learn how to do it, Jackie? I do. Then let's do that. But first, we got to thank our sponsors. Now before we show you how to cheat and win this game, we're going to check back with our contest to find the ultimate domain smack. What's a domain smack? Well, in short, domains are so ridiculously cheap through GoDaddy.com that we want you to register them just to punk your friends. And to that extent, user John McLagan on Twitter decided to punk yours truly by registering IGotAShwoody.com and pointing it to me. I'm just glad he didn't draw a bulge in my pants. If you want to pull off your own domain smack, head on over to GoDaddy.com and make sure to use the code SCAM10 at checkout. Not only will that get you your domain for less than seven and a half bucks, but they'll forward it to anywhere you want absolutely free. Make sure to send me a note as well, letting me know who you domain smack so we can feature it right here on the show. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, Jackie, you ready to figure out how this one works? I am. All right, here's the deal. And, and it is true. I started off by claiming that all the coins are regular, and that is totally true. Right. It works best if you ask people to pull change out of their own pocket, so then okay. it's above suspicion, but I don't know how much change you had on you, so I brought my own. Right. Second of all, when I set them out in front of you, the only thing I'm doing is I'm paying attention to which ones are heads up and which ones are face down. Okay. I guess tails up would be right, the, right, the opposite right. of heads up. And in this case, it's very hard. You'll notice that when you're in a dark bar, it's hard to actually see the heads and the tails. So I went ahead for practice. I'm using fewer coins here, and I clearly marked which side is heads and which side is tails. Right. Fair enough? Yes. So here, in this case, all you need to know is whether or not when you start off, whether or not there's an even number of heads or an odd number of heads. Okay. So the trick is, while you're talking and you point to the coin, say, I want you to know there's nothing tricky about these coins. What I'm actually doing is I'm actually, as I'm just idly moving them around, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five heads. 
or six heads. One, no, that's a tail. Yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> one too many Guinnesses already. <laughs> heads, 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 heads. So there's five heads and right. two tails. So in my mind, I'm thinking odd. Now here's the thing. Right. It's very easy to get mixed up and you forget, oh, was I supposed to be thinking of even or odd? So the moment I get my count, what I do is when I turn around, I actually put, to, to keep a visual marker, I'll actually put one finger up uh -huh. to remind me that I'm on odd, okay? Okay. Then, every time you turn over a coin, I don't know, I never know which coin you're, you're right. turning over. So you turn over one from heads to tail, then I switch to even with, with two fingers. Then you turn over another card, or another coin, and I go back to odd. And then I go back to even, and then I go back to odd. And you can keep going all, all you want. I'll just go even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. Uh, but as long as I know how many times you've turned a coin over. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Then, when I turn around, you're covering up one of the coins. I don't know which coin you've grabbed, and right. when I turn around, I don't know if it's even or odd. So, so for example, right now, go ahead and pick one of the coins, pull it pull it back. Okay. Awesome. And so now, I know, I know because without even paying attention, I had my marker up for odd. Right. So now I say now, and again, I draw attention to the coins right. and I say, there's nothing tricky about the coins. And again, what am I doing? I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. So since I had an odd count and I have an odd number of heads, that means that you picked the tails. Just like that. Make sense? Yeah. So it takes a little, just a little bit of paying attention. And it's, and again, I find it helps to, to split up your attention so you're not trying to keep it all in your head. Right. But then when you look around, you know if you, for, for example, let's say you had held over this, go ahead and cover that up. I had an odd count, and I count, I see head, 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 head. So it's an even number, which means that it has to be a head underneath there. Right, right, right. Any questions? I think I got it's it. It's kind of blindingly simple once you know the yeah, secret, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now here's the question though: Can you pull it on one of my friends? Yes. Wow, that was awfully confident of you. <laughs> She's like, yes, yes I, yes, can, I can, Brian. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm gonna grab one of my friends from Rev Three. Great. I'm gonna blow his mind. <laughs> Let's talk about Squarespace because it's finally here, the Squarespace iPhone app, and it is freaking gorgeous. You can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go, post and edit blog entries, you can upload pictures on the fly, manage your content, preview your updates, access your site statistics, and it's all seamlessly integrated with your iPhone. I'm telling you, you don't even need a computer anymore. You can blog from the bar and claim you're working and kind of be telling the truth. Now here's the thing, you know everybody's moving over to Squarespace. It's no secret, they've got the best system around and everybody knows it. The only question is, whose promo code are you going to use when you sign up? Whose promo code is going to get you 10% off the lifetime of your order? And most importantly, whose promo code will keep you swimming in free drinks? It's gotta be promo code scam school. all one word. Head on over there, sign up now, make America proud. Make your mom proud, hell, make me proud. All right, Jackie, we're here with Roger Chang of Techzilla fame. How hey. you doing, Roger? Good. Nice to meet Good. you. Good. All right, I don't know. This is my pro prodigy. My pro prodigy, prodigy, protege. My protege, that too. All of those. My pro, my professional. <laughs> and she's going to blow you. It's all you. You do it. You do it. All right. All right. So we're doing a coin trick. OK. Right? OK, so just look at and make sure they're normal and they're legit. OK. Right? Nothing weird with them. Am I supposed to touch them? Um. Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Just don't, you know. Yeah. Mess them up. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, don't mess them up because I, I am doing something here. Okay. All right, so you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and I want you to turn over one. One okay. coin, any coin. Any coin you want, whatever. But I have to turn want. it over. Right, turn okay. it over. Yeah, yeah, all right. Guys, you are a Wait. pro. Okay, now. <laughs> Do you turn it over? Oh yeah, yeah, right. he, oh yeah. It's, it's right. been turned over like a okay. turnover. <laughs> Did you say it's been turned over like a turnover? Right, okay. All right, do one more. Oh, look at that. So, okay, to... so uh, not the same coin, but a different coin. Whatever you want. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. And All then right. do one more. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. All right. All right. And now you can do one more if you want, but if you don't want to, you're done. Yeah, do you want to do one more? Yeah, all right. All right. Whatever has been done, it's been done. All right, you done? Yes. yes. Okay, now grab one and cover it with your hands and don't show me. 
But Any. remember, we're, yeah, anyone, but remember if it's heads up or tails up. Oh, yeah. So, so, so grab one and don't show you. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but, but no, no to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. He's got it. You good? You good? You good? He's got it. Good? This All is right. the moment. This is the moment. All this right. I'm like the teacher at the spelling bee. I'm like, will okay. she get it? Okay. Now say heads and tails. Heads, tails. One more time. Heads, tails. One more time. Heads, tails. Okay. I'm going to guess it's tails. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. No, it was heads. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to do was pay attention. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 All right. So you're welcome. <laughs> so what happened here? Let's let's do, let's just walk through it again. Okay. So, so it was. So you, your initial count. What was your initial count? Even. It was even. So we got one, two, three, four. So so it's yeah, even yeah. right now. Okay. So so you turn around. Oh my God, and, so, and, so, and so no 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 no. no. Okay. So uh, uh, were, were you keeping it in your oh, head yeah. or were you using yeah. your fingers? Yeah. No, I was using. Okay. I was using. Okay, you're, you're giving the finger. All right, uh, and then and so so he, so so yeah, here yeah, so then here don't look. We'll, we'll do a practice one. Just face up. Just cover your eyes. Okay. All right, and then uh, and then uh, go ahead, Roger. Turn one over. All right. All right, and now uh, turn another one over. All right, turn another one over. Do you want to turn another one over? Or are you done? I'm done. Okay, he's done. Now he's gonna grab. No, don't look. Oh, 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 oh! oh, oh. I'm not. This is your final exam. You're getting a makeup <laughs> test, so you can get right, an A. Right, you right. can pass. I don't, actually, an A is out the window. You might be able to pass this class, is what I'm trying to say. Let's see. All right, Roger, pick any one of those you want. He's got it. He's covered it up. All right. These are the coins right here. This is like a this is like a traffic school where they really want oh you to my pass. Gosh. I'm just. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. What do you think he's got? Heads. Oh, she passes the class I with a, a, a D plus. Yeah. Okay, a C, a C. <laughs> but, but here's the important thing. But you pointed out, though, it's very easy to get mixed up. So the important thing right. you got to do is make sure that you know exactly how many times it's flipped over. It might even help if you have somebody here who knows the trick as well, and they can make sure that the guy's not cheating. Of course, if you have an accomplice, you could probably use a secret code, right. which would be easier. But you got to be very clear that you tell them, turn it over. Have you turned it over? Yes. Turn it over. Have you turned it over? Yes. Do you want to go again, or are you done? And then you know exactly how many times they've turned stuff over, and then you're able to blow them away. You did a great job. Thank you so much. What a good sport, Jackie. Thank you very much, Roger. Sure. Now, if you're going to pull off the head's tails, you've got to do your practice. People think because the premise is so simple, they can pull it off first try. Trust me, you're going to be sorely disappointed. First of all, make sure that you're giving the proper instructions. Make sure that you know exactly how many coins they've turned over, and most importantly, keep that count fresh in your mind by using a cue with your fingers. Now, I know you're going to have great stories of pulling this off, so share them at the boards at scamschool.tv, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or find out when I am hosting Scam School meetups in your hometown at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're going to be meeting with a forensics expert who's going to teach us how to make a silencer using peanut butter and a condom. But first, I'm going to go back inside where it's warm. It's freaking cold out here. How do you guys do this? <laughs>